to set up our client, we are going to first have to make sure that it also has a fully qualified domain name that is in the same domain as the free IPA server. So you can see that we have that here. The next thing we need to do is to install our packages. If you're just going to use this machine as just a regular client for a regular user, then all you need to do is just install an IPA client package. If you're going to use this machine as an administrator machine, then you can also install the IPA admin tools package. We also want to configure the client so that it uses the same DNS server that the free IPA server uses. And we also want to make sure that we have the search domain in there. So you see here that the IP address 55 is the address of the free IPA server that I just set up, which also has the DNS integrated in with it. Now that we've done all that, we're finally ready to run the IPA client install script. But there are a few option switches that we need to use to make this work correctly. We need to use that force NTPD option because by default, our client is set up to use the crony D timekeeping daemon, but free IPA wants to use the NTPD timekeeping daemon. So that force NTPD option will change the client to use the NTPD and it will disable the crony D. The enable DNS updates option just allows us to automatically add this client to the DNS. The enable DNS updates option just allows us to automatically create an A record for DNS and the MK Home Dyer option will allow us to have a home directory created for any user who logs into the system. So now we can run this. And all we have to do now is type in yes to accept these values. And I'm going to type in admin for my user. And it looks like it's working OK. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. We can test this out the same way that we tested out the configuration on our free IPA server. Just run the kinit admin command to obtain a Kiberos ticket and then run IPA user find admin in order to see if it can obtain the information about the admin user. And we see here that it did, so it's all good. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that a free IPA client can either be a desktop machine or it can be another server just whichever way you want it that's all for now thank you for watching